right, tell me your name. Ruth Heath. Ruth, and how old are you today? 102. 102, so you were born in? 1918. 1918. And um, we were just talking and I asked you what, what shape the earth is and what did you say? What were you taught in school when I in elementary school? I was taught in school that the earth was flat. And and then what what do you remember when they changed it to a globe? Well, when it they changed it, I remember when they changed it, but I can't remember the okay. date or anything like that. And did you believe them? Yes, I did. You you did. Now we, I. I I was young. Right, and we all we all were told by people that we trust. That's right. Where did you go to school, Ele elementary school? I went to Spurgland School in Hamden, Connecticut. I lived on a farm and grew up with all kinds of animals. No electricity, a big white farmhouse. Amazing. And we had a walk to school. We didn't have a bus to take us to school. We had to walk to school and walk home through all bad weather. Um, it, it was living on the farm was a life of, yeah, I can't explain it. So getting back to the flat earth, um, you said that you're religious, that, that yes. you, that you, uh, you follow the Bible. Yes, I do. And and are you aware that the Bible is all about the flat earth? That God put the foot, you know, the the earth on the footstool and separated the waters from the waters, and created the firmament. If you if you read Genesis, I'm not the Bible guy. I have friends that are so good at it, but there's over 200 verses in the Bible that refer to a flat earth. That's right. And. There's only, I think there's only one verse that mentions Earth as a circle, but just like this table right here, that table is a circle, right. but it's flat. That's right. Right. A, a circle is different than a sphere. A sphere is the same in every direction. That's a, right. Cir the circle of the Earth. So, right. so how does it make you feel to realize that you were right as a kid? Uh. It makes me feel better. It, it does make you feel better, right? Oh, it makes me feel alive. My whole, oh my God, that is so true. My whole life, I believe, yes. you know, what I was taught. That's and then right. when I discovered the flat earth. I feel better you, about it. Because we are the center of creation. That's right. We are important. That's right. And we are here. We are God's children. Excellent. Yes. I will, um... I believe in God. I trust God. And when all the problems that are happening in this world today. I'll give you some good news. A lot of the problems that they report on the news aren't even real. That's right. You know, that's right. They're just keeping us in fear. Keeping up. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, uh, that's right. I understand that. I understand. They just say what they want people to know. They don't care about the Bible. They don't care about life. They only care about I, me, myself, and I. It's a different world. So the globe deception that a lot of people say, and I believe is literally by Satan um, to hide God and That's make right. people selfish That's and, right. and self-centered and not care and think that there's no consequences for their actions. Right. I, I pray every night before I go to bed. And one night things weren't happening right. And I sat up in bed and I said, God, where are you? I need you right now. And I'm beginning to wonder, where is God? God's right above us in the clouds. The, the heavens are right here. That's all that there is. And <laughs> and there, there's not infinite space. Did you know, wait, let me ask a question, just switching topics a little bit. 
that we never went to the moon, that that was all fake. Is that right? That's correct. I saw that all happening. Yeah, so did I, and we all believed it, but that was just to reinforce that people to believe they can live on a ball and they could walk on a ball. Nobody's ever been to space because space doesn't exist. There is no space. There's just this world. Oh, it's such a lie. It's such a lie, but knowing the lie is like knowing going to a magic show. I woke up. Yes, that's what we call it. We call it red. This is this is your moment of waking up. Oh. It's when you go to a, see a magician and you know how the tricks are done. And the magic no longer works on you, and you're free from the illusion. So knowing this is going to free your heart. Cry. Yeah, it's okay. It makes me cry. Happiness. Yes. Tears of yes, joy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I know that we were true, and they're hiding us. Yes, it's good though. It's good. It's very good. Yes. Yes. All right. I'm awake. Yes. I'm awake. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm going to end this video now, and um, I will try to give you some more information. Can you read? Are you able to read? No. You're not able to read. No. Are you able, you're able to listen to things? Well, I have to use up here. Okay. Because I am lately blind. I got it. All right. So you can't see how good looking I am? No. <laughs> just, you just have to trust my opinion. This is the perfect woman for me. She can't see me. Um, all right. Thank you so much. And it's my pleasure. All right. It's my pleasure to know that it's true. It is absolutely true. Oh, it's but amazing. Here's the thing. If you tell other people that don't, that aren't awake, they'll think you're crazy. They, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's their problem. No, no, I believe it. I believe it. Yeah. Oh. So good, right? I do, I, I'm glad I'm we met. I'm so happy. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. It's right. All right. I'm going to, uh, this is what I did. I was um, visiting my mother and I asked who the oldest, most lucid person was. And they brought me, introduced me to Ruth. Ruth, yes. right? Yes. And right. Uh, I encourage anyone else that has access to an old age home to do the same because there's not many people like Ruth left that remember these things. We also talked about the World's Fair that she attended oh. and she said that the lights were the most amazing most part. Most amazing thing. Yeah. I never got over that. I never, all my life, it's right there. The lights were so bright and living in the darkness for so many years as a child, all of a sudden the world opened up. Amazing. All right, Ruth, thank you. Thank you. I'm <laughs> amazed. I'm so happy to know it's true. It's true, and God created yes, this world. Yes, and, yes. and he's right here in the clouds above, close, not in an infinite universe. Uh, so good, right? And I, I can't get over it. It made me cry. <laughs> made me cry, too. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, Ruth, give me a hug. Here we go. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right, bye-bye.